Get ready to dive into a righteous revolution of entertainment and enlightenment. Introducing Zion Culture, the sensational Christian video podcast hosted by the passionate sounds of Mount Zion Radio. Zion Culture is not your average podcast. It's a platform that brings Evangetainment another step closer to you. From breaking news in faith-based industry to up-close and personal interviews, from exclusive behind-the-scenes peaks to in-depth movie reviews, Zion Culture is your front row seat to the incredible stories shaping hearts and minds. Let your voice be heard as we tackle through thought-provoking topics, ignite conversations, and celebrate the faith that binds us. Whether you're a lover of Christian cinema or a gospel music enthusiast or simply seeking the truth in a world of noise, Zion Culture is your sure guide in life. Hit that subscribe button and be a part of the Zion Culture movement on social media. Zion Culture, your exclusive gospel podcast. the top Woo. so where was I oh yes subscription mm. yeah special thanks to everyone that has subscribed to Damla McBamelo's YouTube channel God bless you and uh, to those about to click it Jesus is coming soon there is no time so please click right away and uh, if it hasn't even crossed your mind why over half of those watching are not subscribers. Do I have to tell you why you need to subscribe? Because... Because it doesn't... It doesn't <laughs> Getting better. He may not even survive the next attack. The only recommendation I will be giving you is to take him to where he will not be rejected. Like where? Today is a special day. Yeah. And so um, I'm glad to present to you this special gift. What? Jesus! What? <laughs> the blood! Oh, you see, even the color looks like the blood of Jesus. <laughs> there are many souls whose lives are not saved. I would have been more excited if we used the money for outreach. Well, well, speaking of souls, I, I have a gift. Souls! Gift of souls! Souls! <laughs> souls! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Souls! Instead of my father to use money and time for important things, he chooses to welcome me with a party. I just feel like he's stabbed of love and attention. And I blame you for this. How dare you? Ouch! Why is Soya and his son still alive? You are supposed to eliminate him and his son. You have to pay the price for your negligence. 
are all laid back on a season of fasting. The Holy Spirit instructed that we all must embark on the 40 days prayer and fasting. Ooh, ooh, sir. All of us, including Yola, think of a solution. No, 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 no. No, it's not possible. Babe, is there anything the matter? For a second, I didn't recognize you up there. You were so carried away with being called the president so much that you, you don't even care what God calls you. If you were in my shoes, you would not have answered those questions any better. What is it that you know of the secrecy of the underworld? The what? I'm on it. Okay, you can toss it. You toss it, you can Oh, wow, wow, you know how it is. Food, you can toss it. Toss it, you can toss it. Oh, wow, you can toss it. And you told us to worry about you, for the job you met at me. It might interest you to know that the forces in the air, the forces on land, and the forces in the sea have heard about your misfortune. They are about to wipe you out. Stop delegating. You must be at the forefront of the battle. Sawyer, it all ends there. No. Hey! You die! No! No, Mattis! Mattis, save me! Mattis, save me! Tears in heaven! I love the tears on heart! I love the tears underneath the heart! Yes! That every power must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord! Yes! For the glory of God! For the glory of God! For the glory of God! from our grip, Sonia. You? Yes. It is I, death. I'm glad you remembered from our last visit. I thought I was done with you. No, Sonia. You have signed a contract with your soul for money and fame. You can get it back. It is ours forever. I am knocking at the door of your life. I need you to open up. You cannot have me. No. On the contrary, Soya. We already have you. Ah! Jesus, help me. Your soul belongs to us. Jesus! Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the Lord. But thanks be unto God, who has given you the victory through me. Go and sin no more. Dad? Can you hear me? Please, Dad, I need you to say something. Say something if you can hear me. What's my name? Dad, please, please say something. Anything. Martins, don't worry. God is fighting for us. Yes. Can't you see? God is in control. 
just need him to talk to me. You will. When? One day. One day. Baba, all I need is for him to call my name. That's all I need. I think it's... Dad? Daddy? My son. Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> so, you are here. I have always been here. Praying for you. Praying that Jesus would restore you. I saw him. Jesus! You saw, you saw Jesus? He defeated death right before my eyes. I want to know more about him. Hallelujah! Glory! Glory to God! Who are these people? Where am I? Dad, you are home. This is your new family. This may be the last time we'll be speaking. You have lost your grip, Grandmaster. We got him. Almost ended him. Where did he gather such strength to attack me? You're asking the wrong question. How prepared are you for the doom awaiting your clan? Messenger, give us another chance. They have made their decision. I have served them diligently. I've honored them with everything. Don't allow them to turn their back on me. I will get them, Sonia. It is too late. It's not too late. You have failed, Grandmaster. Accept it. Fall on your sword. You gave me the sword of authority. And I'm ready to use it to the best of my ability. The battle line has been drawn. What can I do to make amends? You all must pay a sacrifice. What sacrifice? A sacrifice by blood. Not your blood. The blood of the person you cherish the most. <sighs> Messenger, consider it. Don't. What? No. Just that you've been staring at those pictures for some time now. <sighs> Something is cooking. I don't know what exactly, but I think I know the cook. Tell me about it. <sighs> I know Commando was released by someone. Who? Mr. Gbadi. How are you sure? Three years ago, we arrested him with the cultists. Was he a cultist? He belongs to a bigger fraternity. The secret seers of the underworld. Mm. The campus cult was just his play too. He personally eliminated the leader of the campus cult, Rambo. Mm. Why he did that, I don't know. 
But my guess is they had a misunderstanding. Why wasn't he arrested? He was. But the very next day, he walked out of jail, a free man. I saw him. I confronted him. But guess what? He threw my confidence right back at me. I've never felt so belittled all my life. I know he's riding on the powers that be. Powers that be? <laughs> I'm sure he released Commando. But to what end? Why will he do that? What is his end game? I will help you find out. Stay out of this, Simika. I'm already in. Please, I'm begging you. This is an unsolved puzzle. It can't get out yet. Relax. I will help you solve it. Stay out of this, Emika. Babe. This is not a request. It's an order. Is that what we are doing now? You ordering me? Stay out of this. I insist. Okay. I will. Promise me. I promise. No blood! No blood! No blood! No blood! No blood! blood not the fire! Why would they use around this cause? No blood! No no blood. No blood. The world should get ready to feel our impact. We're not there reasonable. At all, at all. We're not there reasonable. All we just need is blood. How could they throw away for grass? No force fist stop us! At all, you then be. Police! I mean evil popo! They are not fit stop her. Who they be now? Who they be? Evil army! Uh -huh. They are not fit put us down. They are papa! <laughs> we have the backings back. of the higher power. Yes. As you did, something don't give or do as you did. Hey, hey. All we just need is blood. Make the blood just the flow for God. No blood! No blood! No blood! No blood! No blood! No blood! As a student union president, my focus is to ensure that all students' voices are heard. My motivation is simple. I believe in the greatness of this university. And with the collective work of the executive council members, the staff, and the students, we are going to continue with the great work this union is making. Mm. How, how, how was that? Hmm? Uh, how was what? My presentation. Oh, oh, that I, I wasn't actually uh, paying attention. Daddy, what was the point of reading it to you if you were not even listening to me? Billy, I'm, I'm actually sorry, just that uh, I got lost midway. Was it he, was he boring to you? Uh, boring? Uh, no, not at all. Then how did you get lost midway? <sighs> Honestly, <laughs> I don't even understand myself. Something must be wrong with this speech. Well, there is nothing really wrong. If you may ask me, the speech itself uh, lacked the tenaciousness uh, that we elucidate uh, the subject matter to uh, colligate its listeners to it. That's what I think. In simple terms, it's, it's boring. Yes, um, it, is, it is boring. Like, like, how boring is it? To be honest with you, I have never had a more boring speech in my entire life. Well, be encouraged. It's not actually about the speech. It's about the speaker. Dad, I need your help. Hmm. We need to come up with a convincing speech. Dele. Dad. Have you prayed about this? Are you actually sure that this is what God wants you to do now? Dad, you know this has always been my passion. Leading the students gives me so much joy. I know, and I have no doubt about that. 
Dad, just look at how successful I was as the school fellowship coordinator. I have a track record. All I want to do is just to replicate the success at the school fellowship. And then, um, what about the souls that God has kept in your care? Dad, so because of some new converts, I, sh I should forget about my passion. <sighs> when the devil wants you to abandon what God has placed in your care, he looks for legitimate offers enticing enough to distract you. I'm not distracted. Really? Yes, really. When last did you organize your monthly outreach for all those programs that you've been doing in the school fellowship? Well, you know I've been busy. Busy doing what exactly? The student union president. Exactly, Dele. You are getting cold. I believe in you, and I believe you will do wonderfully well if elected as the student union president. It's a good thing, but is it godly? Of course, it's godly. I, 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 don't, I don't understand your question. Dele, if God is leading you, it will anoint you for the job. But if you're leading yourself, the job will only annoy you. So you need to choose carefully, anointing or annoyance. Dad, even your question is annoying. Because I don't know what else to say to convince you. Dele, I don't need convincing. Where are you parking to? I'm leaving this house, Mom. I can't stay in a house I don't understand. Please calm down. We can talk this through. There's nothing to talk through. I overheard your conversation with Dad. What are you talking about? You're trying to cover up for him again. You're covering up for him again, just like you've done all these years. What are you talking about? You knew he was a cultist, and yet you stayed married to him. What do you want me to do? You should have exposed him! Only God knows how many people he has hurt or even killed! Shut up! Wait a minute. Did he kill my sister? Your father will not do such and get that out of your head! I can't get it out of my head! Am I even safe in this house? My sister was slaughtered like an animal. Her death was not normal. Only a courtist could have done that. So I'm asking you, Mom, did he kill my sister? He will never do such! <sighs> that man is not the father I used to know. If you're still the mother I know, then you will let me leave this place. I have to leave, Mom. Stop. You can't leave. Mom, let me leave. Let me leave. We can fight this true as a family. Aki, please. You are all like God. Mom, this is a slaughterhouse, not a family house. Know this and no peace. Aki, you can't leave me like this now. You want to come on me, Aki? Aki! Aki! Aki, please! Good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, my name is Emeka Chooks. I'm an investigative journalist. Okay. Who lets you in, please? Uh, the security man at the gate said it's okay, I, I wait here. Okay, so what do you want? Is Mr. Gbade in? No, he's not. What about his wife? Why are you asking all these questions? What do you want, sir? I have reasons to believe that he's a cultist. Okay. From my research, he's a member of the secrecy of the underworld. <laughs> And I would like to hear his own side of the story in order to balance the report. Oh, I'm sorry if I've stepped my boundary, I'll just take my leave. No, no, no. The only thing you'll get out of this house are lies. There's nothing like balanced report from this place. That I assure you. Why? Because everyone is covering up something. 
Please, you can call me for more details. Hello. Hello. Baba Gbero. Who is on the line, please? Moreneke. Moreneke. Your spiritual daughter. When we were in school, my friends and I, we come to the house. Mama will cook for us. And you will teach us Bible study. Morenike. <laughs> yes, Baba Gbero. Ah, praise God. It has been a while. Huh? You are married to Mr. Gbadi, isn't it? Yes, Baba. <sighs> you see, he came to my house some years ago and he introduced me to Martins. I'm so grateful to him for that connection. Baba, that connection is about to land you in trouble. What do you mean? If it is possible, if you can, please pack your things and leave the house now. Why? My husband does not mean well for you. They want to put you down. Who are the they? Baba Benro. It's not what I can be saying on the phone. Then we should meet. Please, send me the address to your house. <sighs> right away, right away. Thank you, Baba. Eshe Goni. Ekpe Fumi. Is everything okay? Good afternoon, Chief Sonia. I just got a call from Buddy's wife. Hey, what did she say? She said I should start packing my things because I'm in danger. She said Buddy is after me. I shouldn't take that threat lightly. You are not safe here. I'm safe here, Chief Sire, <laughs> because Jesus is here. Uh -huh. So you are not going to leave? <laughs> Only if Jesus tells me to leave. A lot of people are always on the run, seeking for safety, seeking for greener pasture. That is what happens when your life is in your hands. You will always be on the run. Anxiety can be a good chaser. It has chased a lot of people out of the will and counsel of God. That is why the Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing, but in prayers and supplication, we should make our request known to God. A life in God's hand is a life of peace. Even when everyone is running, I'm rested in the palms of my Father. So, what if the enemy is right at your door? So, how can you stay rested? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Allow me to share with you the story of Israelite in Egypt. It is in the book of Exodus from chapter 12 to 14. The Israelites have been in bondage in Egypt for a long time. God ordered Moses to lead them out of Egypt. Moses went to Egypt with the instruction of God. But upon telling Pharaoh, he mocked Moses and increased the workload of the Israelite slaves. The Lord dealt with Pharaoh so bad that he lost his first son. He gave up his hold on Israel 
and let them go. Now they were happy on the move to the promised land. But Pharaoh still came along with his army to capture and destroy the Israelites. But the Lord showed his mighty hand. He allowed Israelites to walk through the Red Sea on dry ground. Now, that got me confused a little bit. So the Israelites walked on dry ground in the middle of the sea? Yes, with his mighty hand, he literally parted the Red Sea for the Israelites to walk through. God made sure they all crossed over to the other side. But then Pharaoh and the Egyptians realized that the Israelites were ahead, tried to pass through that same sea with his chariots and his mighty army. But then the Lord removed his hand from the sea. They all perished. <sighs> The secret seers are your Egyptians. But like Pharaoh, don't ever believe that they will give up pursuing you. But just like Pharaoh, they are about to meet their doom. One moment. Papa Guerrero. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I could have thought the stories in the Bible were mere fairy tales. But my encounter with Jesus has shown me the reality in his word. You know, Jesus actually said to me, O oh death, where is thy sting? And O oh grave, where is thy victory? Hmm. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That is in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55 to 57. Ah, 1 ah. Corinthians? Okay. Genesis, Exodus, Number. 1 Corinthians is in the New Testament. Eh. Can you help me? He said it to me. He said, the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is in the law. But thanks be to God who gives us. He said it to me. He did. He said it to you. He said it to me. <laughs> Praise God. So, 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 who was talking here? That was Paul talking. He also, just like you, had an amazing encounter with Jesus. And his life was not the same. Really? Hmm. He was a man who hated Christians with so much passion. He was a terrible threat to the believers. He got permission from the high priest to capture any believer that he finds in his way. As he neared Damascus, on his journey, suddenly, a bright light from heaven flashed around him. Eh? Bright light? Bright light, Baba Guru? I saw the bright light too. I saw it. You saw it? I did. I did. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. I said, suddenly, he fell to the ground mm. and heard a voice say to him, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I'm Jesus whom you are persecuting. That vision changed Saul's life completely. He had a change of name from Saul the persecutor to Paul the preacher. Hmm. No one encounters Jesus and remains the same. No one. No one. But Babagbero? You have not encountered Jesus like I did. Many believers like myself have not encountered him like you have. But we have encountered him through his word. He speaks to us and we hear his voice. His voice gives us direction when we are lost. Comfort 
when we are scared, strength when we are weak. We hear his voice through his word. Jesus, like Paul, I was a persecutor. I didn't see any need for you because I relied so much on my money, fame and power. I was so proud of who I was and what I had. But after I encountered you, I realized the vanity in those things, the hopelessness in those things. <sighs> Even like Paul, I want to do great things for you. I want to serve you till I draw my last breath. Please, help me. Help me. Help me, Lord Jesus. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Please, let's go straight to the point. I have been here for over two hours. So let's make the remaining minutes count. You promised to give me fuller details to my investigation. Tell me what you know. You think I came all the way here to satisfy your curiosity? The way things appear, we are working on the same puzzle. The answer to your puzzle is in my hands. And mine in yours. Tell me what you know. Do you know anyone by the name Sawyer? That's my father's best friend. He and your father are in the same fraternity. Wow. Sonia sacrificed his wife to gain a higher position in the fraternity. And um, his houseboy was uh, robbed into the mother case and was put into prison by your father who was then the inspector general of police. I've taken time to study every member of that fraternity. Oh. They have all sacrificed someone. Daughter, brother, son, wife, even best friend. Oh. Why are they doing this? Because the fraternity runs on blood. Who has my father sacrificed? You had a sister, right? Yes, yes. I'm sorry. So my father sacrificed my sister and used her blood as well for this fraternity? I won't put it that way. There's no other way to put it. I'm sorry anyway. So now or later, they'll come for me. Your father also worked with campus court. As a matter of fact, there was a misunderstanding with him and the leader, and he killed him. It is on record that your father was arrested that same day by Officer Gabriel and her team. My father was arrested? Yes. But a few hours later, he was released. By who? By the powers that be. The powers that be? I can see. You need to understand the power and influence that covers this fraternity. Every major player in the society is either affiliated or part of this fraternity. Like I said, I'm still working on my story. It's not yet clear. But once I get the full gist, it's out. So what do you have for me? Well, I have, I have names. 
Ah, what am I supposed to do with names? Figure it out. Some you know, some you don't know. I'm all yes. I'm only going to say this once and I will leave. Martins is a target. Sonia is a target. Baba Benro cannot be targeted. And why? Because he's a spiritual man. Who is Baba Benro? Yes, please. Okay, how can I help you? The thing is, I've been depressed for about a year now. Depressed? <laughs> yeah, my my boyfriend dumped me after making me commit abortion for him five times. Ah. I feel so hopeless and, and useless. <laughs> Actually, my, my best friend said I should come and see you, that, that you can lead me to Jesus. I need help. I don't know how to see, help myself. See, my sister, you are, you are not, you are not hopeless, all right? I'm very happy that you came here today. You see, Jesus is going now. to... Eh, uh, guy, they come, they come, I beg. They, they come, come as in, see, they're supposed to wait to hear from you. And they come now, guy, I beg, I beg. I beg. Guy, guy, see, do you just know it's because minute. to have those people there? Hey, just, just one minute, just, just See, minute, see, if you guy, wait a second more, minute. they will leave. Maybe by then you are ready to kiss your political ambition. Guy, let's come. go. And they come, and they oh, come. Oh, can we do it? Come, oh, go, leave this. Just place. give me oh, one minute. Let's go. Just sign. Who are you and how did you get in here? I'm Chuk Semeka. I work for Exclusive Media. Please get out of my house. Calm down, calm down. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. Get out of my house before I call the police. I just want to ask you a few questions. I said get... Sir. I said get out of my house now. Your life is in danger. And your family's life is in danger too. From who again? What do you know about the secrets here? I don't know what you are talking about. Sonia is your boss. He was my boss. He was my boss. I no longer work for him. He's a member of a dreaded fraternity. The secret seers of the underworld. Tell me why he's a target. Look, leave me alone. Leave me alone, all right? And leave my family out of this, please. I'm here to help you. I have nothing to do with that man, that fraternity, and all of that. I am out. Tell me everything you know about him. And why is he a target? I don't know. Why did they send you to poison him? Look, I don't know. I don't know, okay? Tell me what you know. I'll protect you. Look, if I promise to tell you everything I know, I promise to protect my family. I promise you and your family will be protected. Is coming. Afternoon, sir. Ah, yes, sir. 
Mr. Martin, sir, how are you? I'm very, very fine. Thank you, sir. I can see that you are ready to resume. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, how is your father? Oh, he's very fine. He's, he's... Very fine? Yes, yes. He's, he has recovered. He's doing well now, sir. He's very well? Yes, sir. What yes. he told me he was in coma. Oh, yeah. He's, he's up now. Yeah. Up and standing? Up and standing, sir. <laughs> Yes, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. Congratulations. Let me be the first to welcome you back to work. Yes, and also I want to appreciate you for your patience and your understanding, sir. I am so grateful. Oh, Thank you so much. Uh, I'm so grateful, sir. That's yes, a sir. problem. I, I'd like to get back to it's okay. class. It's all right. Thank Bye. you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Hello? He's up. Duro Saya is up. I said he's up. Up and standing. <coughs> From what I can tell, uh, Mr. Duro Saya is ill and early now. He is he, he's very, very fine. Yes. Okay. Who's in the line? My name is Emeka Chooks. I am an um, investigative journalist. Okay. Oh, uh, what do you know about the secrecy of the underworld? Sorry, who's on the line again? I said my name is Emeka Chooks. I'm not sure we should be having this conversation. I'm very sure we should. Okay, if you don't have any other thing to discuss, I will appreciate if you can call this call now. Or better still, I will help you call the call. Before, sorry, hold on. Before you cut, I have a message for you. You are a target. Sonya is a target. Baba Gbero cannot be targeted because he's a spiritual man. So, goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, if you want to talk, send me an address. What do I do, Banjo? I don't know, bro. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is crazy. You mean you're not even safe in your father's house? The fraternity runs on blood. Once they ask for my blood, I'm done. Hmm. Then you need protection, bro. Exactly. I don't know where to get it or how. Well, hmm. I know a woman. What kind of woman? <laughs> this woman. She's powerful. She's a traditionalist. In my wildest dream, I've never imagined myself in the den of a herbalist. Hmm. Hear yourself. In my wildest dream, I've never imagined myself in the den of a herbalist. In your wildest dream, did you ever imagine your father using your sister for rituals? You're surrounded by animals. Aki, you're in a jungle. And to survive this jungle, you need serious protection. And you have to be proactive. Okay, so when are we going? Whenever you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Chumwa, don't push me out of your life like this. I, I still love you. Young lady, see, I'm done with you, okay? There's, you just need to just go and live your life. There's nothing for you here, all right? Do after everything I've done for you. <laughs> done, done for me? Ah. Done for me? What on earth have you done for me, Melody? Tell me that special thing you have done for me. You took away my pleasure, it's a big deal. Melody, big deal. Made me abort pregnancies for you. Five times, Jumwa, five times. You promised to marry me and I stayed with you, Jumwa, I stayed. Come down, come down. You know, back then, <laughs> I'm interested, okay? I was interested, but right now, I'm no longer interested. Babe. <gasps> I have nowhere to move on to, Jumwa. 
Like, get out, man. Get out. Ah! If, you, if you do this tonight, I swear you would never amount to anything ever in your life. Wait, wait, wait. You don't whine me. Is, is that a cause or what? Ah, uh, anything you lay your hands upon, not prosper to what it's not prosper. No, I have to have to prosper. Is that, is that? Mr. Kayode! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I'm so happy to see you! <laughs> wow! I'm so happy to see you! I'm fine, I'm doing fine. How are you doing too? I'm oh, fine. And who is your wife, Flora? My beautiful wife, very fine. Oh, and the twins! Ah, the twins are doing their thing though. You see, when one is sleeping, Another one is awake. Uh, I, I really even sleep at night now. Wow, I can I can imagine. <laughs> imagine what? You can't imagine anything. <laughs> I know, right? I, I know, imagine. right? You're, you're not a superhero. Everywhere I go, I see your poster. Uh, yes, you know, um, I you know I have this passion, you know. I've had the passion from the school fellowship. You know, you should know I've always had the passion to mobilize students. I've always had a, I've always had that passion. Really? Talking about the fellowship. Yes. I went upstairs and I didn't see anybody mobilizing it. I remember when you were the student fellowship president. <laughs> Things were yes. bubbling. Yes, yes. I remember the outreach you went for, the, oh, the village yeah. outreach, the prison <laughs> outreach, and the things God yes, used us to do. Yes, wait, wait, wait. What's going on in fellowship now? Um, uh, nothing. I, I've, I've chosen that I've moved on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Move, moved on to what? A, a new ministry. What, what, what ministry? Student Union President. That's not enough a reason why you dropped the fellowship. <laughs> you know, I cannot be seen as a religious person. So I just have to play neutrality. I just have to be neutral. Oh. You, understand, you understand now? I see. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying that you needed to play neutral? Mm -hmm. <sighs> so. Because you must be neutral, you decided to abandon the assignment that God has given to you. Wait, wait. Wait, do you know how many souls that the devil will have stolen away just because you are playing neutrality? Um, Mr. Coyote, I, I don't expect you to understand the um, campus politics. But you see, if I remain as the fellowship president, it's going to greatly affect my chances of being the student union president. Ah, daily. So it's just so um, <laughs> no daily. But you are you, you know you are better than this, Mr. Coyote. Please, please don't judge me. No, no, don't no, judge no, me. No, 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 no. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here because God sent me to you. <laughs> okay, I, I'm listening. <laughs> My wife had a dream, and in that dream, she saw a truck fully loaded with armed men. They were armed to the teeth. All of them entered into this school and they were shooting. They were killing the students. 
But the watchmen were nowhere to be found. They were not there to protect the student or protect the school. They, they were sleeping. Sleeping. Tilly, you have enjoyed a moment of peace in this campus. Do you still remember Rambo? Oh. Do you remember when you were kidnapped? Why am I even asking you this? Do you remember how long you stayed in the kidnapper's den before God came to save you? Tilly, if you do not want a repeat of what happened to you then, you better rise up and defend the gate against the enemy. Get the gate against the enemy because they are coming. Dilly, I'm trusting me when I tell you this. Dilly, they are coming with full force. No blood! 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 How are you? I'm doing good, sir. Yes. Sir, I would like you to come around for one of our campaign shows, you know. You can even motivate the students to vote for me. I, I would really appreciate that, sir. I, I would really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, have you seen this? Oh, my God. What? I know this lady. You know her? She committed suicide this morning. Suicide? Oh, it's sad. So sad. So sad. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no. He sat at a retete. Babala we kunin di fafeku. He sat at a retete. Babala we yenin di fafeye. He sat at a retete. Babala wo amorogba. Tin show mo kon yi won lenje lenje nin di fafu aromongba. Won ni ke ku orubo. E kuko e kurubo, i ku se bi ere bi ere, i ku peku. Won ni ke eja rubo, eja ko eja no won rubo, i ku se bi ere bi ere, i ku peja. Won wa ni ka romo ngba, tin so mo ikan yi won lenje lenje ko rubo, aromo di gba rubo. I ku se bi ere bi ere, i ku re kete. To ba wa ri be, i wa kin, omo mo re ni ke, i ku re kete leni o, ki o ye. Ki i kuko ye lori re. Ki wa la kore ekete, ki kore ekete, ko she ko she ni ti la ko she. Now, take this sham. This is the way you'll be using it every morning and at night before you sleep. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Sorry, ma'am. I, I have a question. I'm listening. This, this, I go to work every morning. Eh. Uh, then you use it to work. Eh, ma, is there any other alternative? Putting this on my face to work will make me look like a clown. My staff will not take me seriously. Don't worry. Don't use it then. Thank you. Thank you. But by the time you find yourself in the coffin, they will not take you serious. Ah. You will no longer be a clown. Ma, are you saying there's no other alternative? I am afraid. What are we going to do now? I've already told you what you are going to do. Ah. Okay, for how long am I going to use this for? As long as you feel the death threat, you continue to use it. Ah. Man, just say something now. <laughs> Bro, 
What do you want me to say? Do you really expect me to wear this to work? It's your life we're talking about here. My life is already a joke if I do this. I have a suggestion. What if we make it look like um, your trademark? What does this look like to you, Banjo? <laughs> Halloween. I'm sorry, I, I can't I can't do this. I'm not, I'm so sorry. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. O oh death, where is thy sting? O oh grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Oh, thank to Jesus. Thank God I have victory through Jesus Christ. Yes, I have victory over death through Christ Jesus. I have victory. Oh, oh. I have victory over death through Jesus, my Lord. I have victory over death through Jesus, my Lord. I have the victory over death through Jesus, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I've been depressed for about a year now. Depressed? <laughs> yeah, my, my boyfriend dumped me. After making me commit abortion for him five times. Ah. I feel so hopeless and, and useless. <laughs> Actually, my, my best friend said I should come and see you, that, that you can lead me to Jesus. I need help. I don't know how to help myself. See, my sister, you are, you are, not, you are not hopeless, all right? I'm very happy that you came here today. You see, Jesus is going to... Eh? Uh, guy, I come, I come, I beg. If they come as they see, they ask you to have it, they want you to have money. I come now, guy, I beg, I beg. Guy, guy, see, do you know what it took us to have those people there? Just, just one minute, just, just see, one minute. See, if you guy, wait a second more, they, they will leave. Maybe by then you're ready to kiss your political okay. ambition. Okay. Guy, let's go. Oh, oh, give me a few minutes, okay. I, I'm coming. And in a few minutes, she was gone. If, if I had preached to her, that would not have been her hand. What have I done? What have I done? Your <laughs> makeup. Banjo, not today, please. Not today. Sorry. Good morning. I'm asking is that you come back home, please. Mom, please, I'm all right. I have already gotten an apartment in town. There's no need coming back to that ritual home. I'm not ready to be a sacrificial lamb. Don't say that, Akin. She be one more baby for now. I can't live under the same roof with a ritualist. I'm better off here. Listen to me. My mind is made up, Mom. <laughs> okay.
Akin, did you just call the call on me? Yes, I did, Mom. Ah, ah. Veronica, I need you in my office right away. Good afternoon, sir. What is this? Who put this on my table? It is a trap, sir. I don't care what it is. Who put this on my table? I did, sir. Why? It is about Jesus. Ha. Have I ever told you I'm interested in Jesus? No, sir. Then why are you crossing the line? He told me to do it. Excuse me? Jesus, he said I should tell you that. He has been knocking at the door of your heart. If you let him in, he would save you. Veronica, I don't need saving. Yes, you do, sir. Saving from who? From death. The Bible says, the wages of sin is death. And the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ has paid the price for your sins. He defeated death by dying on the cross and resurrecting if you believe in Him and accept Him as your Lord and Savior, He will make the same power available to you. The resurrecting power and the power to overcome death. Veronica, I see so much of my mother in you. I respect you so much. Talk of the devil. Hello, Mom. Okay. Did you just call the call on me? So if I could cut the call on my mom, I'm sure you know I won't hesitate in cutting you off this job. Please don't try this nonsense with me again. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. You have successfully sent out your son. He's not my kid. If he wants to leave, then he should leave. Daddy, he left the house because he said he can no longer stay under the same roof with a ritualist. Those are his words. He called you a ritualist. Wow. Then tell him that he has been enjoying the privileges of a ritualist. He went to school with ritualist money. He furthered his education abroad with ritualist funds. Ate ritualist food. Drank ritualist water. Ritualist blood runs through his veins. And he is a product of ritualist murder. You have never slapped me. You have never said trash! Slap. Slap. Daddy. I don't even know you anymore. I am scared. There's a thick darkness in this house. Even the death of our daughter is still a mystery. Then, if you think I'm capable of killing my own daughter, you'd better join your son and run away from me. Emeka, Emeka, right? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, Mr. Martins. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what was that you were saying on the phone? I really don't understand exactly. Do you know that you are a target? Yeah, you said that on the phone. That's why I'm here. Tell me, tell me about it. 
they are after you and they want to pull you down. Sorry, sorry. Let's let's back up a little bit. Who, who are the they? I'm talking about a strong and powerful organization. The secret seers of the underworld. They have representatives everywhere. And I am sure some of them are here in this school watching your move. <laughs> my move? Why? Why are they watching my move? <laughs> your presence is a threat to their existence. Any slight opportunity, they get you down. <sighs> my God. That's why I want to advise you. Be on the lookout. Don't lose your guard. They tried to take your father down by using his trusted employee to poison him. There is no one these people can't use against you. If you want to leave, you better believe every word coming out from my mouth. If I may ask, do you know Commando? Commando? No, sorry. No, I don't. He's a notorious harmed man and a cultist in this school. He was arrested three years ago, but he was released a few days ago by Mr. Gbadi. I know you know Mr. Gbadi because he's your father's friend, but not anymore. Your father is on his hit list, and you also, you are on his list. He mobilized some cultists to target you. You may need to watch your back. Martins, death is knocking at your door. But if you open up to me and tell me everything you know, I can help you. I can save you. I can protect you, Mr. Martins. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, what? Mr. Mr. Mika, right? I'm, What's funny? <laughs> no, 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 no. You are so serious, so convincing. Okay, um, I don't believe I'll be saying this again. Saying what again? Mr. Emeka, have you ever been to the third dimension? Third dimension? Now, have you ever called down fire on the first in rank, hold up the secret seal? Wait, um, uh, I'm, I'm lost. I don't understand. What are you talking about? So you don't understand what I'm talking about and yet you want to save me? Uh, uh, maybe saving is too strong a word, uh, but I want to help you. You see, Mr. Mika, my father was Chief Duro Sawyer. He was the first in rank holder of the secret here. But do you know who I am? Who are you? I am Martins, a child of God and holder of his word. If you know where I've been and what I've passed through, you would have thought twice before packaging this, this, this half-baked information you call news. This is a top-level secret and not a half-baked news. Mr. Mika, can I tell you a top-level secret? Can I tell you? Tell me. Okay. Mr. Mika, I am not afraid of death. You know why? because it is defeated on the cross. These guys are everywhere. I am telling you this so that you can watch not only your back, but your side. <laughs> A thousand shall fall by my side and 10,000 at my right hand. Only with my eyes, Mr. Amika, only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. This is not the time to quote scripture. <laughs> this is the time to be alert. Forces are guarding against you. Behold, they shall surely gather together. But not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against me shall fall for my sake. I know what you have been through. I know your father sacrificed your mother for a ritual against higher power. And I know you are not saved. Mr. Emeka, I am the safest person that I know. You know why? But why? Because he will give his angels charge over me to guard me in all my ways. A few years ago, with the information you just passed, I would have been paralyzed by fear. But now that I know that my life is in the hands of Jesus, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. So you have two things to do with, the, with, with, with this information that you are carrying about. You can either toss it aside or you can keep it under your pillow and sleep on it every night. 
But as for me, as far as I am concerned, I am no longer a slave to fear. I thought I was here to talk to someone with common sense. I did not know that I have been talking to a joker. <laughs> Mr. Mika, I am sorry for wasting your time. You care to join me for lunch? Please on me, I promise. Sorry, I don't do lunch. Oh, okay. Have a great day. In the heart of every man There is a desperate wanting For one thing or the other Jealousy, envy, and hatred fill the air It is nothing compared to What we are yet to uncover But as for people of God Standing on a new reality The solid rock that never fails Far beyond the dark and over all principalities And far beyond the present evil that we see We are the light of the world We are the salt of the earth We have been saved by the blood of the Lamb It's a revolution We run like tongues of fire Like tongues of fire We shine like tongues of fire Like tongues of fire There's a space that is in the heart of every man It is meant for God But they go for one thing or another Riches, fame and power Are the only gods they know The sky is grey I see the gathering of the vultures in this world no, 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 no. 